and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be using base game only to renovate one of the worst base game houses in the game. Actually it's not that bad of a house but it is the good old classic Crick Cabana. One of my personal faves. So it's not a bad house but obviously I would love to give it a little bit of a facelift and I would also love to lift these windows so they are not on different levels. <laughs> but of course the difficult thing today is that I only have base game. Good thing for you guys at home watching if you only have base game because you'll be able to put this in your game. But for me, I'm used to this luxury of having other packs and ah, base game renovations are always a challenge. What I'm thinking is I probably would like to make this little house a little bit more modern, but probably keep it as a starter home or slightly over starter home budget. How much is a starter home budget? Is it 18,000? The Sims 4 household starts with 20,000 plus 2,000 for each Sim beyond the first. So we will be starting, well, let's build a home with 22,000 simoleons. Because then you guys can easily just put this in your game if you want to move a family in. So what have we got here? We've got some <laughs> um, yellowy looking wallpaper that's even in the kitchen as well. The smoke alarm is right above the stove. So I feel like it's a bit counteractive if the stove is on fire, probably the smoke alarm's gonna catch on fire. So the smoke alarm wouldn't really work in real life. We've got a very sad uh, TV area over here, but very minimal. Kids bedroom, oh, and an adult's bedroom without a door. So it's very open plan living. Well, what I'm gonna start with doing is completely bulldozing everything we have here because it's just all gotta go. I don't want anything in this house left over. I'm gonna put in a few of these more modern lights. We'll shuffle them around a little bit. And I'm thinking we go with a really light wooden floor, uh, this classic one. Oh, I do have Eco Lifestyle installed actually, but we won't, we'll try and not use any of that either. One of my favorite wallpapers is actually this dark gray wallpaper. I'd love a slightly lighter gray version of it, but it's really that or the white. I mean, maybe we could continue with this gray theme or I would actually love a navy blue look. We have this dark gray or we have this, it's not really a navy blue color. Oh, here we go. This one's quite good. This one's closer to a, a deep blue. I think this will look very nice. Let's maybe do a more modern front door and then we'll put some windows in that kind of go with that. <laughs> Oop, pardon me. <coughs> I'm just gonna spot a couple of these um, more modern lighter windows around the sides of the house. We do have to be very careful of our budget because I can easily get carried away with that. And then I'm wondering in terms of these columns if we can get something a little nicer looking. Although these, these original ones, they're not too bad. So we could get away with just keeping those. I say we just keep them. And I'm not hating this flooring either for the deck. I kind of just want it to look like a budget starter home. That's still a really nice, warm and inviting place to live. Put the bin around the side there. Okay, before we redo the roof, I'm thinking we need to talk about our floor plan. Do we want to keep it as like, a starter home with potential for a baby room as well? Or is that gonna blow our budget? This could be a master bedroom here. And then this could be a bathroom over here. Actually, no, let's turn this into a small kid's bedroom or baby bedroom. It's going to be very small. Actually, we probably need a little bit more room. Let's extend it to here. Could probably squeeze in a little bathroom over here that everyone can use. Then where is the kitchen going to go? The lounge area could be right here. We could probably even get away with not even having a window on this wall to save a bit of budget. The dining table could be in this little window section. I mean, let's say, oh no, we're not gonna be able to fit two chairs on this though. Can we fit three in the corner here? Not really. It's a little awkward, isn't it? What if we put a little half wall here, which is symbolic of where our kitchen goes. We can just go with the cheapest kitchen counters possible. We can either go blue and gray or the black kitchen. Black is trending right now in the world, or we can just go plain white. Maybe we should go blue just to make it a little bit more colorful and a little bit more different. Need to have a stove. We might have to get a worse off stove than this. This one might be a little bit too pricey. Can have our fridge over here. And then the other thing we'd need is a sink. 
Oh no, but then how do you get to the bathroom? Oh, we could just move the couches over like this and the door to the bathroom's right here. There we go, can place the door right there. Actually, it probably needs to be offset to the side. Maybe it would make more sense this being the master bedroom because we could put the bed here and this could be the kid's bedroom in here. Actually, I think that that's going to look a lot nicer. We could maybe make this kitchen move around a little bit more like this, uh, so it's slightly bigger. But I'm just wondering if this floor plan's gonna start looking a little, a little wacky. I mean, can a stove go next to the fridge? Probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense, a stove being next to a fridge. I think it's gonna make more sense if the stove was here. And how are we going with funds? We're at 14,000, so we're, we're very tight on funds but we're not doing too badly. And now this makes me think that we should just spin this lounge room around to face this way. And then we could have like a nice little skill building corner here. Maybe we can have something like an art easel there for the Sims to work on and you can change it if your Sim is going to pursue something different. But that can sit there and they can paint the road outside. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this smoke alarm over here. Actually, maybe on this wall, because it's that little bit further away from everything. I just wanna keep using the cheapest items possible <laughs> that we have, because I do not wanna break this budget unnecessarily. Uh, okay, so we've got this here. Actually, this floor plan is working out to be really, really nice. Maybe the windows should kind of sit like this. Yeah, I like that. And then there's room for a TV right here. I think this is lovely and I don't know, what should we have on this wall? We could either have a nice feature wall here or we could put maybe a big window if we've got the budget for it. We could even put a nice decorative window here just for something a little different and for it to be a bit more of a feature window. My only thing is, it's a bummer because we don't have this window in the same wood color as the other windows. Um, otherwise, I think that is really, really pretty. I mean, does it matter if one window is slightly different? I'm kind of thinking that I do prefer the gray color because it is a bit more fun. This is definitely going to be some kind of stone brick wall over here, absolutely. This is actually one of my favorites, this ornate brick, which I think people forget that this swatch exists, but I absolutely love it. I know this color definitely isn't for everyone, but we could go a green to brighten it up a bit. But I feel like heaps of you guys are gonna be cringing at that. <laughs> but it's just, this this room looks so bland. I mean, we could go with a green Duna cover, that's okay. Or maybe this one's nice. But we don't have a lot of money in terms of decorating the space. Although we do have show hidden objects cheat, which we can use to our advantage. I really love the texture of these base game couches. I'm not sure if they added this coral texture in at some point, but it looks like it's more of a linen type of couch. So maybe we could put it with this. It, there's a lot of like cream colors going on. It, it's, it's leaning a little bit to being bland. But we can definitely work the space a bit more by putting in these bricks on the wall, brightening it up. I think we need to get some plants in here, actually. We can put a little TV here. How much is this? 500 simoleons? We could maybe even scale this TV up just to look a little bit more impressive. Put this little table on the side here so you can watch, I don't know, The Bachelor and have a glass of wine there. Is there a range hood that can sit over our kitchen, like just hang down like this? <gasps> Ooh, that's kind of cool. Oh, yes, I really like that, actually. I think that, that, that looks nice. We could even put a desk over here. Maybe, maybe if we have the extra funds. Let's still keep it really low, uh, low funds. Let's not buy anything expensive. Might keep it as a white option. And I find it's always a really good idea to have some kind of bookshelf that works. So if you do want to build some skills or have some fun, your Sims can do that. Okay, now that we've done most of this, I think we've done a pretty good job of it this far. Uh, let's do the bathroom. Let's make sure that we can have all of our essential needs covered without blowing our budget as well. So let's pop in a little toilet paper there. Always remember the toilet paper. There's nothing worse than going to the bathroom with no toilet paper. Even as a Sim, I think they still need their toilet paper shower in there. The only thing is if they have a baby and you don't have a bathtub, you can run into some problems. But hey, maybe I'll let you guys deal with that when the time comes. 
I mean, you can go to another lot and use a bathtub. Go to your friend's house and borrow their bathtub. It'll be fine. Kind of not sold on having these bricks in the bathroom. I feel like we need to have some tiles instead. Just feel like they look a little funny. One of the best packs for tiles is Spa Day. I use the tiles in that pack all the time. So it's hard not having them to put in here. Maybe we can keep this wall gray and then just that side has the bricks on it. Okay, we have less than $4,000 left to finish this whole house. Uh, it's not a lot, you guys. It's not a lot at all. I think we're definitely going to have to use uh, buy the bug mode to get a few items in here to make it look a little more decorated and less bland. Thinking that we get a bassinet in here. Uh, so let's pop that in and maybe we could go with a yellowy or, oh yeah, a soft yellow bedroom wall in here. And then not long after having a baby, they do grow into a toddler. So perhaps we should get a toddler bed in here as well to be all organized and a couple of little toddler things, maybe just some building blocks, nothing crazy. And where can this little potty go? We could have a potty just near the entrance. <laughs> I love this toddler bookcase. I actually never realized that this was a base game item. I always thought that came in a pack because it's really nice. You know what's kind of cool? They could have a door straight into the toddler room or even an archway so you can just walk in there when you've had a baby. Is that something that people do? Do they like cut a hole in their wall when they have babies so then they can just go straight in without any issues? And when they're old enough, they just close up the doorway? Because I think that's a great idea. Okay, we've got $1,500 left. So let's decorate this space and make it look pretty. This is one of the least expensive plants that we can put in. So let's put a couple of, oh, a couple of those. Yeah, maybe we can afford to put one out here as like a little welcome, welcome symbol. The classic authority in the corner can't go wrong. The mega flower pot can go just here. These are only $50. So this is actually a really nice way to add a little bit of color to a home as well. Okay, I think we need to go into hidden objects debug mode. So I've got the hidden objects cheat on. If we go into debug, this is where we can hopefully find a whole heap of decorative objects for free. Oh, look at this. We got a rubber ducky for no money at all. Let's just pop that in there. Not much in debug mode, but let's go to decor and we should get a few objects in here that we don't usually have access to. Oh no, that's gonna be way too expensive to buy. Uh, we definitely won't be able to afford any curtains. Oh, even these types of things cost money. I thought they would be all for free. I mean, I personally think these skulls are pretty awesome. You put a couple of those in. I don't know, they're not everyone's taste, not every Sim's taste, but still pretty cool. Is this gonna cost money for us to put in the house? I don't think it did. Oh, maybe maybe the value did go up then. That's nice. That's a nice picture to have on the wall for only 100 simoleons. Talk about a bargain. How much would this add? 95 simoleons? Ooh, I don't think it's worth it for that one. Oh, we could have done like a, oh, we could have had a pink thing on the wall. But I think it's making it too pink. We definitely need something in the bedroom uh, to make it look a little, a little nicer. Maybe we could do something abstract. This one's quite good because it's very colorful or the clouds are nice as well. One of my, I mean, I love this one. One of my favorites is actually a massive green one, but I think it's more expensive. This one is 220 simoleons and it's pretty cool. If we put that with the gray bed, it does strip the room of a lot of color, but it is pretty cool looking. Maybe we'll go the blue bed with this more abstract piece. I think that looks really nice. I wonder if we can put a plant on here as well. This is 50 simoleons. Oh, we're definitely almost at our budget max. So now it's just adding little things and trying not to go too far over. I do like these keys, but they're a bit bland as well. These dishes are seriously expensive. We could mount some fish, but I personally don't really like seeing fish on the wall while I'm eating. Oh, what can we do? Postcards? No. Can we size up a postcard? No, that looks a bit odd as well. I feel like all of these pictures are just so big. Can I size it down and just kind of put it on the wall over here? I mean, that is quite nice. It's something on the wall at least like put this one above it size down too. This is a great plant actually. This plant maybe will replace uh, this one in the corner with this because it does really brighten the space up in a big way. 
the po the potty's still at like the front door. I, I don't know if that's the best potty spot. Let's put the potty here. Okay, with our last 400 smolans, I think what I would like to do is put some kids decor up. I think kids decor is fairly cheap. Yeah, it's like $40 to put some decals on the wall and they'll make all the difference, I think. I might lift this one up a little bit. Uh, we can put a, what about a unicorn in the corner? Where should the unicorn trot? The unicorn could be above the bed, just like this, uh, in a pinky color maybe. Actually, let's let's keep it a little bit more neutral. Let's go the blue. And, you know, it would be nice to have something next to the bed. A little ladybug can go here. Is there a rainbow one? Sometimes I swear there was a rainbow ladybug, but I don't think there was. And I think we can get a bunny. And oh my gosh, we're, we're basically at the limit now, folks. I think I'll leave it there. So let's do a house tour. Oh, actually, I totally forgot about the roof. We haven't done anything to this roof. I think because the floor plan has a living room cut off here, we could actually do something really nice with the glass roof. Uh, we can actually delete this here. And if I just bring this roof in so it's nice and tight, we can put another roof just here to kind of frame it. And the best thing about roofing is it's all free. So what we could actually do is go, go to the glass here and have this beautiful, uh, well, I guess skylight. If we wanted to make it look even more realistic, we can grab one of these roofing options. And we can actually bring this down a little bit like so. So it perfectly matches the rest of the roof. Copy it to the other side. And then can we place this on top? Yeah, we can just place this on top of it so it creates the illusion of a little skylight. You want to get it so it's just above the other glass roof. But it doesn't look like it is. There we go. I love that. And then we can frame the skylight as well. So that looks really good. And oh, don't forget to move the light in the middle because <laughs> otherwise it's hanging from nothing. Let's do a uh, let's do a tour of the house now that it's all finished. All right, so I've just moved good old Bob and Eliza pancakes into our newly renovated base game only home. So this is what it looks like from the exterior. It's very similar to how it originally was. So I think it's very much a true renovation of the space, but I think it's um I think I like it more than the original for sure. I think it looks a little bit more appealing to move into. So this is the front. We've got um, some nice plants to invite you in. It looks very lush and green. There's some big tall windows here where the easel is. So lots of bright light coming into our space. And when you come in the front door, you're greeted by this statement window, which I think is pretty cool. Nice big palm tree. You might need to save up for a computer here, but you can sit down and read a book. We've got our TV, a beautiful feature wall as well. It's very modern, light and bright and clean looking. Our little kitchen area here separated with a half wall that also leads to the little dining area and two bedrooms uh, on this budget. Through here is just our very simple white bathroom, nothing too stupid and crazy in there, but I would probably extend that if you have a kid so you can have a bathtub in there with the money that you gradually make. In here is our master bedroom. Again, very light and bright, some feature mirrors there. And there's actually an archway into this room. So if the baby's crying, you'll be woken up and there's even a bed ready for the baby to jump into when they age up into a toddler as well. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and building with me. I hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. And I look forward to speaking to you soon. Talk, talk.